Hello everyone, I welcome you to this new series on the 2D action platformer kit. If you remember past month, we've, we spent literally uh, an entire month working on the 2D RPG kit. We ran from, uh, from scratch to nothing, knowing nothing about Unity to making a game for Halloween that is themed, that no bugs, everything works, it's fantastic. So now, uh, like I said, uh, after the, the 2D RPG, I'm going to show you the, the Mega Man uh, kit because um, if you remember a month ago I did a video presentation in which I showed you uh, my RPG and my Mega Man game which were done without Unity and then I, I spoke about uh, why did I stop them why was it so hard without Unity without anything to, to finish those projects and then I, I, I talked about uh, everything that needs to be put in place when you uh, want to uh, create a, a, a game without a kit without a an engine or anything and then we say oh but look on the unity side of thing there is this thing a 2d rpg kit uh, basically does everything i did uh, even better so yeah so i showed you guys how to make a, a, a game entirely into the 2d rpg kit but i also showed you my mega man game <laughs> my mega man game it was quite good it was quite good the problem was first um it's not my ip so basically it was the real mega man you cannot you cannot do that nintendo will send the fbi to your door <laughs> something like that um so yeah and anyway um without an engine the mega man game was very hard to push past uh, the first few episodes uh, the first few stages because uh, uh <laughs> there's a lot of work going on in the Everything you need to create if you really want to make Mega Man, you know, all the dozens of weapons and etc. Which means uh, that there's a lot of work to be done. So I, I just, I, I had stopped my Man Mega Man project. You know, it was like, yeah, I made two stages. This is fine. I'll come back to it later uh, when I when I have an engine or something. Well, here we are. We are now later. <laughs> so now I can get some closure on the Mega Man project by using this 2D action platformer kit. Uh, like I said, it's the same exact developer than the 2D RPG kit. This is a coincidence, I assure you. <laughs> uh, he created this um, 2D action platformer kit before I even discovered his uh, 2D RPG kit. So basically, um, I started in April, April uh, creating Feline Realms. And uh, from what I understand, the 2D action platformer kit already existed. I just, uh, yeah, so it's a total coincidence that uh, that that he made the two kits that represent the two games I wanted to make. So for that exceptional reason, since it's the same developer, if you guys want to uh, try this kit for yourself, you got a 25% discount off. I'm not getting commission on this. I don't have many subscribers. This isn't the point. The point is just that the developer is very nice to me uh, and helping me uh, understand Unity and uh, understand uh, his code and stuff. So I'm just returning him a favor. Like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to present your kit. Uh, don't pay me. Thank you very much. And then I'll go back onto Feline Realms and I'll, I'll finish the game because people are starting to be impatient. And me too. I start to want. I'm... Sh I'm... Sh I'm... Uh, torn apart between playing music or making feline realms or making tutorials and ah, I need to do all three of them well <laughs> so bear with me please so uh, so I will stop uh, this wall of uh, narration monologue <laughs> I thank you very much uh, just for sticking around uh, yeah I want to say this is not gonna be like the 2d RPG kit I am not making a 25 episode long series to show how to create a game from a to z no 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 i already did that with the 2d rpg kit this one we're gonna just have fun i'm gonna start with a playthrough i'm gonna play through his entire demo thing and then we'll be like mm, what did i like what did i like a bit less and then in the next episode we will start customizing it and get deeper into it and we, i will dedicate a couple no a couple is not like a, a good word a couple means two this is what i meant I will uh, maybe maybe six episodes maybe maybe six episodes to contain the Mega Man thing. I I don't have more time to give, uh, sadly. But anyway, I don't think uh, I I don't have a time to learn the two D action or 
platformer kit to a point where I can teach it. This is my first usage of it. I will be as green as any of you. So this is basically a project review at this point. You know, I'm going to use the product. I'm going to show you it's fun or not. You you make your own opinion. And then we're going to see how it works to deal with it, to 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 customize it and stuff. So it's basically a, 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 an official product review, <laughs> review, kind of. But uh, whatever. So uh, I hope you guys uh, love this kit. It, it looks very nice. Honestly, it looks very nice. Uh, I'm going to start right there uh, the, the playthrough for this first episode. Just a playthrough. And I hope that you guys, uh, I hope that we, I hope that it's going to be great. I, I have not never played it. I hope that it's going to be great. I hope so. I hope so. It, it has to be. It's Mega Man, right? <laughs> so let, let, let's go, guys. Thank you very much. All right. So let's click play on this bad boy and let's test this thing. I have not uh, played it uh, yet. I only looked at it. I looked at videos. Uh, Arjun made and he says in the videos the red has double jump while blue is a regular gameplay. So I'm gonna go with blue because uh, it's cool that red exists but I'm more of a blue guy. <laughs> Um, it's like in Mega Man X or X2 uh, when uh, his brother Zero is there. I guess that's inspiration. So now I'm testing the wall jumps. Uh, the wall jumps obviously work. However, uh, you must not press the W key. Uh, I'm on a keyboard, of course. But if on keyboard I have the the, the bad habit of pressing the up key, it uh, it breaks the the. It it breaks, not it breaks. It makes the wall jump uh, not not work like you wish it would. So this is a skill issue. This is not a game issue. It's just me that I'm rewiring my brain. You know what? Uh, it works. You just need to expressively uh, use A and D key um, and avoid the W key. So if you play on a joystick, uh, same principle. Uh, you're gonna have to avoid uh, pressing up. It so yeah, skill issue. It's okay. Now I look, uh, I'm just burning through through this uh, this room because I know it's only to pick items. I did want to see, uh, can we iframe this? Do you, no, we cannot. <laughs> so now that, that this is settled, uh, we were in the tutorial stage. Now we see the four stages in front of us and two uh, secret stages we will uh, unlock. Uh, yeah. So now I'm just going to look everything that this uh, kit has to offer. Uh, first thing I noticed right away is just... Uh, how more uh, how more advanced it is uh, visually than a 2D RPG kit, but then again, this is a side scroller. Uh, it's not the same point of view. It being a side scroller makes parallax uh, so much more usable. Usable, yeah, usable is the word. Uh, like you see, um, you know, the cities in the background and the cloud and stuff. Because when you're in a top-down uh, game, uh, the top-down game, the parallax, you could uh, you could. You could use it, but it was not as beautiful as a prominent, like all over the place. Since the game is a side scroller, you can use parallax uh, literally everywhere. So uh, visually, it looks a lot better than uh, <laughs> than uh, I was expecting. Except this part, me, I hate when the the pits are so close. You know, and you even see his dying animation like, as he touches the air. But that's not a kit problem. That's a configuration. Uh, when you place the pit, there are like a rectangle, like a player collider. And uh, I will, uh, when I make my stage, uh, put them simply uh, lower so that the character uh, dies a bit lower and not like, like right there in the middle of the sky. Uh, but the camera follows us. So yeah, there's a lot of things I need to uh, to wrap my mind around that this is a 2D side-scroller and not a top-down RPG. So in this game, there are mechanics on the player, which means that there's gravity, you know, which means there is jumping. There is no jumping in a 2D RPG kit. So now, since uh, this is not a top-down uh, walk in four direction and talk to people, this is left to right and jumping. Um, yeah, so uh, a lot of stuff uh, is completely different game at the end of the day <coughs> so uh, it's very refreshing uh, to me uh, I, I really enjoy this and I will uh, have uh, a great time uh, making a stage or two I won't make a full game uh, yet because I don't have time I need to go back to Feline Realms but I will definitely make a very cool stage and whatnot and then I'll go finish Feline Realms and then after Feline Realms we'll see uh, how my health is do I jump straight in to a sequel a new game or do I come back to visit Mega Man 
by continuing this project we're gonna start we will see um, still in a learning uh, learning mode for me um, because this is the first time that I touch a, a side scroller in unity my Mega Man game was made in PyCharm in a just pure code uh, with libraries no engine but this is a uh, all, all of unity is right there so uh, <laughs> the gravity and the whatnot the input controllers everything uh, everything is there so uh, one little thing that i noticed like i just picked the shield uh, sorry i, I realize i'm not speaking much about what's going on uh, the shield uh, you know in mega man x on uh, snes uh, the shield when you get it it uh, takes health from your ammo bar but uh, the shield in uh, this kit is designed differently and i like it because the way this this is designed it's not uh, like uh, you don't have an ammo bar that replaces uh, your, your health when you use a shield you use a charge of your shield and for maybe five seconds you gain uh, invincibility which allows you to to go over a spike section or or whatever you know so uh, this is uh, one of the difference between the real Mega Man and this kit is the way that the shield works and also the way that the dash works because you know uh, there's uh, many different Mega Man games most of the old Mega Man games they just don't have a dash at all uh, but then uh, some of the games that they do have dash they have multiple types of dash they have double dash they have the dash when you're in mid air they have uh, also the dash jump the dash jump is right in Mega Man X uh, yeah I remember that one's pretty cool um, the dash jump is not a thing in this kit uh, at the moment I don't know if it would be one day but it's not very important I'm just uh, naming you the, the only differences that jump to my face between uh, real Mega Man and this kit it's um, yeah it's uh, wa <laughs> shooting while you're in a ladder and uh, what I just said very small differences but it's fine it's fine it cannot be the same otherwise uh, we'd be in trouble right <laughs> so um yay that's what i meant so i'm stopping right there to shoot i'm trying to shoot right now but i can't so if one day uh, Arjun wants to make the game even cooler add that we can shoot while we are in a ladder like this it's uh, it's just something that's intuitive. I'm not sure if every Mega Man game can do that, but I know that some Mega Man game you can shoot one another, and maybe even on the the first ones, like uh, maybe you can do that, like from Mega Man uh, Four and up or something. Um, so yeah, I'm I pretty much done uh, covering uh, all the li the little details that are different. All the rest is amazing. Well, all the uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I still got a cold. Uh, <laughs> so here you see the, the, the first breakable blocks. Um, they look like a sandstone or something. Um, but uh, I don't currently have a weapon to use them. But this is normal. Uh, he, he made these, these stages uh, to um, force us, quote unquote, to use, uh, to understand the, the different uh, tools that are in place. So uh, uh, I watch his series. It's very, very, it's, it's so good actually. Um, this kit compared to the 2D RPG kit is, uh, um, I don't want to, to, to say stuff, um, the bad words, but I'll try, uh, it's a lot more, um, thought, it's a lot more, a lot more uh, effort and thought into, uh, the future of the kit, as in, um, the, the kit was made uh, very modular and expendable and we will see that when we try different weapons and create uh, weapons and stuff uh, I, I watched his videos and honestly it was kind of amazing because you can take a monster and then you can give him a player weapon and then you can give him a, a behavior to detect the player and then uh, to shoot only if you're, you you go near or to uh, there's so much uh, configurable stuff and it's all uh, like pretty easy to configure at least it looked pretty easy in his guide so uh, yeah well we, we'll get there uh, next episode we'll start building this one I'm just uh, going around the kit you know the first playthrough um, playing with a keyboard is not that easy guys uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, my my uh, my controller is on the the secondary computer because my son is playing an emulator uh, for a 3ds game that's just not on the market here um so uh, yeah i don't want to unplug it and 
because he's like constantly uh, on and off playing it. So I'm just like, you know what? Keep the controller. I'm gonna play Mega Man with a keyboard and so be it. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> very sorry so now i got this big red sword um definitely this is going to be the one that breaks this wall i'm testing like you know in uh, mega man x when you get the helmet and you can jump and break uh, like mario style i'm just testing uh, can you uh, simulate breaking with your head while slashing but not really you really need to be uh, uh, placed uh, in a way that uh, <laughs> that makes sense. You you cannot. Uh, I um, maybe you can modify it though. Uh, I and his guide he shows that you can actually uh, move his arm and uh, the position of your arm uh, affects the, the the weapons positions and stuff. So you could slightly make it go on top of the head so that you you could if you press uh, sword it at the same time that you jump uh, give the illusion that you broke the the block on top of your head. So we could add a lot of. Um, digging uh, upwards mechanic you know what i'm saying like they say you have a part of the stage oh i cannot uh, break the roof because my sword is only hitting left and right well me i would modify the sword so that it hits a little bit on the top too so that you can uh, dig upwards it's just add so much mechanics uh, but not mechanics but uh, possibilities when it comes down to creating a level you know because when you create a game it's like oh i gotta create like 50 levels right so you need to have as much var var variety yeah that's a tough word variety as as you can so yeah you can have a digging stage up digging stage down and <laughs> digging stage left right let's not get crazy with the digging so here i'm testing the sword on the bus and i'm like oh holy cow okay the sword is definitely dealing uh, pumping more damage than the the other one right <laughs> we destroyed him pretty hard so uh, th that's cool that's cool also all items all weapons um, you can uh, change the damage you can uh, color you can uh, well, configure everything so basically uh, when we play the the, the the demo version of the kit like this what we do is we play uh, an example of a game that you can make you know and it is uh, encouraged that you build from it because then uh, you already have like some stages that you can uh, remodel instead of starting from scratch. Let's say you have no clue how to do parallax. Well, here it is already done, you know. But another better way is to uh, even more, um, well, to uh, to look how it's done. Lo le le you create a stage from a template seed or something, and then you look uh, uh, how he's done it in his stage, and oh, you uh, duplicate it in your own. So whatever, uh, all, all the ways are, are good as long as you... you um, you progress in your uh, project so now i'm just uh, having a hard time with my <laughs> eye end coordination but it's all right so um oh yeah um the the spike layer you, you see the spike in early literally in nails uh just like in other mega man games or in like uh, avgn games that they're, they're block of death so you touch them uh, you're dead so um, keep that in mind when you create levels people hate those they need to exist obviously but people hate those so keep in mind not to put uh, like uh, right now you fall down a pit you don't know what you're gonna do so you have to wall slide you know but sometimes people they, they design levels and they just put um, leap of fate you know like uh, you have no idea what's down there you go down and like right there like oh but that was my fault because there was a currency on the left. You know, like in Mario games, they leave uh, currency tracks to encourage you uh, going in a certain uh, path, you know, because uh, the premise of Mario is that you're going very fast, you're running, uh, and then you see, oh, uh, there's coins there, let's let's run that direction. <laughs> well, same thing there, <laughs> you're going down, you, you don't know what's down below, but there was cu currency, but my brain was just not... Uh, <laughs> not uh, thinking about the currency i'm just thinking about uh, man this keyboard i should buy another controller so that my kid can keep playing his 3ds simulator so yeah whatever now uh, now i understand but uh yeah and those turrets they're cool right now they, they shoot at an annoying uh, pace but it's all configurable 
but uh, what's cool is the <laughs> the auto detecting I, I i when i i seen the, the video of our jump uh, you 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 were gonna do it in the next episode i guess you're gonna see it it's so nice the <laughs> the detector like uh, when you're in the scene builder you you see that the player go in there it automatically detects you and it shoots uh, at you and like this was a slip you seen when i was uh, on the last pixel of the block uh the guy is in a state where he kind of falls into a sub pixel or whatever so um yeah that that's uh, that's because this is a, a, a normal game this is a no there are mechanics in game uh in mario what they do is they do a push the when you go into a, a, a sub pixel the wall pushes you uh, externally and so that's why uh, that's why you see people doing uh, sub pixel manipulations all the time that so that they can go between uh, between tiles not tiles but um, wow, whatever it's hard to say vocabulary in english is hard guys so uh, whatever <laughs> here you see the, the, the little potholes in the ground they remind me the avgen episode you can just go over it you know the teenage mutant ninja turtle game uh, is trying so hard to jump over it whatever um so yeah yeah Be, yeah look this is uh, I've, uh this is only time i, I was ma able to to pluck this glitch I tried to make it again. So if you fall on a really uh, precise, I think it has to do because my head was hitting a pixel. So uh, it flipped my, because in the code, there's something that flips the uh, the, 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 the X axis uh, when certain things occur. And I think that a very rare occasion procced when I banged my head in the very corner of that thing, which, uh, uh, reverted my my access temporarily but this is the uh, even the real mega man games and stuff uh, they don't uh, polish uh, things like that out because this is such a rare occurrence it's not something that's very accountable for but maybe it is i'm just saying that this is the only time that i made this happen uh, in the entire playthrough and i tried to replicate it and i could not and me not being able to replicate it tells me this is something that's very rare. Like, let's say you have uh, 16 uh, sub-pixels and it only uh, works on one of them. Well, you got one chance out of 16 for it to happen when the condition very specific of you at a certain speed banging your head on that corner. So, you know, at this point you're like, uh, wow, that was uh, crazy. But if someone finds a way to repeat it all the time, then it's something that should be fixed. But for now, this was just uh, something crazy this is not uh, but now i'm looking at another problem not a problem but a technicality uh, the projectile origin is like uh, a millimeter too much to the right of the sprite which creates the situation where the monster can physically uh, um, you can shoot and he should be touched but he is not because the point of origin is like one millimeter too much to, to, to the right S this is something uh, that we can configure s very simply I, i'm just pointing it out to remember the next episode what i need to to adjust so i want to adjust the sword arm so that it it's on the top of the head to unlock digging upwards mechanic i want uh, i wish i could uh, combine a dash with the jump but uh, we cannot do this the way that the dash is currently uh, uh, made it would need uh, modifications in order to do this so um yeah that's not important that that's just uh, <laughs> that's just me thinking about mega man x but this is not mega man x so i need to stop thinking about particular mega man x mechanic because mega man x you need to do the dash jump to access certain uh, rare memory tanks uh, one in the armadillo stage i think and um, i don't remember the other one but this is not the same thing the energy tanks and this and this uh, game that's another of the small differences the energy tanks in this game uh, they are not uh, refillable they are uh, when you loot one it's 100 percent while in the um, og Mega Man games uh, when you get one it's empty and then it's only when the player's health is full and that he loots energy capsules that the energy over what your max health bar goes into your reserve capsule if you have them so yeah now in this game it's more simple than th than that in this game it's just you loot one you have one you know and you can have up to nine of each type and uh, that's it that's all there is no refilling them is you buy another one or you loot another one 
or it responds or whatever. So for that same reason, since it's not anywhere as rare, you know, because now it's not something that there's only three or four, in, no, four. there was four of them in uh, real Mega Man games uh, throughout the entire game. Uh, uh, Mega Man X, there's like four of them throughout the entire game, and uh, two of them were always pretty hard to get, um, and two of them were not that hard. But you still needed. Uh, yeah, I remember it was underwater. Uh, there was the big, uh, the big. Uh, I think it was red, uh, like sea snake thing, and you needed to break the wall, and then there was an energy tank. But you needed to do a super dash jump. Uh, very uh, pro prolongated because you're underwater so the, the gra not the gravity but the gravity feels different even though that's not really it is because you're in a medium you know you're in water you're <laughs> the, the mechanics are different yeah so now we just got the the jelly thing this is uh, basically the equivalent of the dog i don't remember the name of the dog uh i wish i do i wish i did but my memory is terrible <laughs> you have to understand I'm 40 years old I was playing that the Mega Man maybe I was 6 years old when I started <laughs> so this is like 36 years later that I'm looking at this instead of playing it <clears throat> I mean uh, compare f first time I played the versus today otherwise no, no I played the uh, because that was in the video uh, video rental store days so uh, you we did not own like oh i own mega man one through six and x one two three no 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 you didn't own shit uh, games are very expensive i'm very poor but i was very poor so no 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 what what happened was uh, you rent a game so you rent a game for the weekend everybody uh, ends up preferring uh, mega man 2 so mega man 2 is always gone <laughs> but then you uh, oh mega man 3 or 4 uh, what mega man is available the weekend that i'm going to rent oh this weekend it's mega man 5 looks like we're gonna play mega man 5 you know um and stuff like that and then uh, super uh, nintendo came out mega man x was so out of this world i'm pretty sure it's what influenced uh, our jump to make uh, this kit in the first place because uh, the the, <laughs> the game is that good, is that good uh, that it influences generations to um, to to do so. Just like uh, Shining Force influenced me to get into RPG because I want to make my own Shining Force and stuff like that. You know, we don't reinvent the wheel; we just learn to make it go. <laughs> yeah. So now uh, this was totally uh, <laughs> totally. Um, man such a word intended that was totally an intended death <laughs> nah so this is the fourth stage it's uh, it's obviously harder it's a sky stage so there's a lot of pits and stuff and um, look at my brain is still so so dumb <laughs> but no that wasn't my brain that was my keyboard it's like dude playing with a keyboard is so hard <laughs> but whatever just bear with uh, bear with me as i uh, have painful uh, Mega Man uh, rust. Yes, and one of the things that I noticed that these these bad boys they respawn all of the time. So mm, I'm not sure if I would let it leave it that way. I think I would rather um, make it so that they they they, are, they only exist once. So right now I'm uh, exposing the only glitch that I found uh, in the game, and uh, I send the video to the developer to. Uh, and he saw what it is, he says he will fix it uh, very shortly. So uh, look, when you're close to that uh, that little wall there, uh, and you go to towards the left, he enters a clip, clip uh, state. And he should not enter clip state without jumping, you know. Uh, so there is a, a pixel off somewhere in, on that block, <laughs> and it's making the, the, the player uh, proc a super, like, double jump thingy uh, which is not supposed to do um, developer will fix this uh, very soon guys so uh, they, they probably by the time this video is online it will already have been fixed so uh, yeah I'm just talking about it because there it is in our face in the video <coughs> so yeah I really love this freeze cannon now I'm testing okay we can damage them when it's freeze just like in Metroid you know uh, when you freeze a metroid you can then uh, damage it so yeah th this is uh, like visually uh, clearly a, a mega man like kit but truly um it could be a castlevania it could be metroid uh, there there is no uh, 
it changes nothing at the end of the day because they're all the same type of games. They're all side scroller in which you collect weapons and you have a health bar and there are stages and there are bosses. You know, what's the difference? It's about how you reskin it. You know, if you skin it with the medieval soundtrack, you're clearly making a <laughs> Castlevania. It's if you skin it with the techno music and heavy metal, you're clearly making a Mega Man. You know, because Mega Man is heavy metal music. Uh, it's very good heavy metal music actually surprising that they managed to do it uh, on the 8-bit sound chip or whatever that the crap is in the NES it's, 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 um, you guys need to realize uh, how amazing the people that make music but not all a um, lot of music a uh, lot of games got crap music but the music in the Mega Man series uh, <laughs> it's not just the music it's the fact that it's playing on a freaking piece of garbage uh, the the hardware on the NES is total garbage and there is literally no room on the cartridges uh, no room at all you making a game for Nintendo is uh, uh, not for Nintendo for the original Nintendo Inter entertainment system you're dealing with uh, half half a megabyte and, and in the best case scenario the, where do you even put sound in there so you don't so what they do is they program uh, with they program music, and they they manage to program such fantastic music, and <laughs> it blows my mind uh, even to this day how good, how great the Mega Man music is. It's like um, it's like you put heavy metal, but you turn it uh, into a a Nintendo. <laughs> it's so so good. Yeah, whatever. So we're almost done with this stage so we see he put the same um, the same boss all the time but that's okay because this is a kit the point guys is for us to reskin but we do see that he's walking faster he has more health he has a different uh, behaviors program so right now i'm looking at his weaknesses i see that uh, one of his weaknesses quote unquote is that when you shoot him he enters a blinking state which is an iframe state that is fine however uh, if you really time your stuff, you can pretty much uh, um, glue glue yourself to him. So when I make uh, my, my first boss, I will give him an attack that will dissuade the player from doing the strategy. You don't have to put it on every boss, but some bosses should be uh, should not be cheesable. So here I'm looking at the roof, I'm like, you know what? We could put a fake parallax there and it no more being a solid layer and there we would be we would have a secret area where we could uh, go through the roof so i'm thinking uh, game design stuff uh, i see the potential in the kit i mean the dimensions are amazing obviously um <laughs> it's what i i was trying to say earlier uh, the, the the quality of the the the, the product because the kit is a product at the end of the day the quality of the product aside maybe from the the, the ground right there I think that ground is pretty ugly, mm, but that, yeah, that that's something you will replace in a way. But I I do think this ground is so ugly. I mean the purple pink thing. <laughs> I'm not saying that I could do better. I could not. I am not an artist. I cannot draw even to save my life. Well, I can draw in black and white, you know. But I draw like artisty stuff in black and white. I cannot draw. Uh, video game graphics and color and stuff. This is not my my strength. My strength is uh, is elsewhere. So we see uh, some more bonus rooms spread all over. This is uh, nothing uh, reinventing the wheel. There is just just having a little fun while creating his stages <laughs> and that's the thing. Uh, making a game is fun, you know. Uh, why do you think? Oops. This was my fault. There was a ladder. I ignored it. But otherwise, me, me, when I make stages, never put pits. You can put like one in the game that is memorable. N putting pits like that in every stages, uh, me, I dislike that. But that's okay because um, because we will change the, the the stage. This is the whole point. He's just suggesting us like you can play stuff like that. Thank you. I will place them like that, but I will move the spikes because the spikes make me angry. And when I'm angry, my diabetes get worse. <laughs> so being not angry makes me live longer. So for health reasons, I will remove that spike. But a normal person is probably fine with the spike there. 
I'm just an old boomer and I know my limitations. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't remember what I was saying at that point, honestly, but uh, it's still on there's only like five minutes of gameplay left. And, um, yeah. So, I, I start already by talking about um, what I like and what I don't. Honestly, uh, the, there is... Wow, the monster go on that. I did not know that. That's pretty amazing. Okay, that's cool. Because uh, I think Mario Maker and Maya, you know, Mario Maker, you can put trampolines, make a mushroom jump or whatever. But now we just seen that we can use these things to make a monster jump. So we can make a boss room and in the boss room there will be a jelly patch and something making monsters spawn and throwing them at you or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about cool stuff. So yeah, air clearly, this is a, a double shield utilization, you know, it only lasts 5 seconds, so you need to recharge it halfway. So this was, I guess, to, to, to make sure that we understand that concept. And basically, you could make a thing that's like 8 shields in length, but that's hardly fun, you know, that's hardly fun. But uh, you can do that. I'm, I'm gaining more and more love for the Red Sword, because it's very powerful. I do think it could have a light, uh, you know, the 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 the, um, the thing behind the player we see right now, which is the, the I don't know the name, uh, the <laughs> damn vocabulary is hard. Uh, the line, the line of degraded color that comes from your back. Since there are lightsabers, they should have one. The blue should have a tiny blue one. The red should have a slightly bigger red one. Or they can be identical. I'm just suggesting that they should have some sort of similar thing just to encourage you to wear the sword. I say this because in um, in video games, uh, mostly MMORPGs, when you have weapons that have a visual a light um, trail, yeah, trail is a word, uh, this is so much cool. I remember in uh, Anarchy Online, uh, I would wear like uh, alien uh, alien weapons on my shade or whatever. So you, you run around and you see the green light uh, trail and just running around, even if you cannot find that team, there's nothing to do, the game sucks, uh, but you're there, you're running around, you got green light and you're having fun, you know. It's it's s small things like this that uh, that makes MMORPGs cool to hang into and I really try to to, um, to put the MMORPG everywhere I can. That's why in Feline Realms I make uh, bosses that spawn on the map uh, with the loot tables and stuff like uh, stuff that you're not supposed to see in a classical RPG, but that you see in MMORPGs. But I spend so much time in MMORPGs until I'm uh, I'm like pretty much done with them, right? <laughs> I've played them uh, them them pretty much all. <sighs> I'm still playing Black Desert, but really I'm not. My my character is fishing, and I'm just like too emotionally invested in uh, this account to stop playing otherwise um, <laughs> maybe one day I will kill a monster instead of just fishing and crafting stuff but I, I feel like I've played so many so many years uh, I don't have anything left to do except exist in the world and just existing in a world is something that is fun to me a lot of people they, they go into games just to chat they don't actually care about the game but well I'm exaggerating a bit but you get to what I'm saying? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> that was a skill issue for my part. I should have shot the thing in advance and then committed more to the jump. But this is normal. This is the final stage of the demo game. So this is normal that the, the difficulty uh, went higher. So uh, this is still uh, in, the, in the kit, you know? We are still in the spirit of showing you how you should be making a Mega Man game. So let's judge this for what it is. This is a small Mega Man game. And for a small Mega Man game, this is very well made. The only problem we saw was, uh, aside the fact that I suck with a keyboard, the only problem we saw was uh, the strange, um, the, the pixel in the fourth stage, the, the sky stage. There was a pixel that uh, made the, the character go nuts and jump higher. Aside from that, uh, aside from that, uh, I, I, I really could not find any... Uh, <laughs> any game breaking problem like you know the the kit seems ready for prime time to me ready uh, to make a game right off the bat i don't think uh, we're gonna have to uh, <coughs> to do much it's already in a in a wonderful shape just like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna try to make it so that the sword it the red sword it uh, 
it's upward because I want to unlock all those mechanics of digging upward. So yeah. So uh, another thing you could do to avoid the because right now the 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 enemy when you touch him is not hurting you this much this much. So it makes you be like, oh, I just tank him and destroy him, but that's that's bad. So uh, when uh, we make our stage, we'll make it so that it hurts the player like three times more if you touch the enemy this way. He will touch you with his ranged weapon, but you will absolutely not want to be touched physically by it. It's like being stepped on. So yeah. So uh, hopefully, I, I I hope I did a decent job uh, with a voiceover in English. You know, the, this this was uh, in, in French. I spoke uh, as I played. But uh, otherwise, uh, in the next episode, we will uh, build a stage. And the only problem we found, I sent a message to the developer about the jumping thing. So basically, I'm pretty sure before we even air the, the next episode, uh, the problem will be fixed. So I, I, I could have just not talked to you about it. But uh, whatever, you know, I'm showing you how to, how to think anyway. I mean, I'm showing you how to detect uh, stuff. So... Uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Uh, sorry if uh, this was not uh, like constructive. It was just looking as demo. But next time we build stuff. I promise. Thank you very much for staying until the end. Uh, if you like the content, please do uh, subscribe. So uh, we'll get to the next YouTube step soon. Thank you.